Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is gonna be crazy. If you can't already tell by my riding hair, today is the day I'm getting back in the saddle and I am so scared. If you're new here, let me give you a little rewind and explain why I'm scared. To make a long story short, I started riding two and a half years ago so that I was able to share in the whole horse experience with my two daughters who were avid riders. Oddly enough, it did not come completely naturally to me. I did not jump on a horse and ride off into the sunset. I struggled every step of the way. I struggled to trot. What's your problem? She's gonna, She's gonna trot? All right, here we go. Struggled to canter. <laughs> but I had so much fun through the whole process. Oh. <laughs> they didn't hit her at least. It all came to a screeching halt one year ago in December when I fell off my horse. I ended up in the hospital with a broken pelvis and stayed there for six days. But I got back up on that horse. I did. I got back up on her and I did a horse show with her and one reserve champion. Everything was going great until suddenly that December, my mare passed away suddenly and tragically. And then I did not get back on. I slowly let myself stop riding. It was winter, I gave myself every excuse that there could be and I stopped riding. So here it is a few months later and I'm ready to get back on the horse. Okay, now that you are all caught up, um, today I'm getting back on the horse. I wanna ride with my kids. I wanna enjoy horses again. I don't have a horse to learn to ride for, but I still wanna ride. So today it's gonna be all about me getting back in the saddle. Guys, there's Ruby on myself. So today, ah, Ruby, <laughs> Ruby, chill out, sister. Literally every lesson we oh. spin now is my best lesson. Yeah. So today we are going to our barn and we're actually having a lesson. We are packing up our stuff to come home, but before we do, we are actually getting to have our to have a last lesson. We will be practicing social distancing because we have to, um, but we are gonna all get a lesson and we're gonna ask him to give us the skills that we need to be safe while we bring our horses home, right? I'm already safe. I just thought of this. If Chino fits the Western saddle, how is he gonna like, how am I gonna throw the saddle on his back? Yeah, Finn, that is true. Dollars. So, Gadley so kindly interrupted us. She's taking our Western saddle to see if it'll fit Chino today. We're gonna get our trainer to let us know about that. But also, what are you gonna ask Brandon to teach you? You're gonna tell him that he was taking a little bit of a long, and how do you oh, handle he that? Always did that? Okay, so how do you handle a long? Me two pointing earlier. So I don't get left behind. Throw yourself into two points. Do you have anything else that you're gonna ask Brandon? I don't know. You don't anything know yet? Anything that he knows that I need help with? Okay, so we're gonna tell him to give you last minute instructions so that we're safe at home. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna ask Brandon to teach you before, as your for your last lesson to keep us safe through this outbreak? Uh, I don't know. What doll's your favorite, Mallory or Emma? Definitely, Emma. I love a hairy baby. I want to canter, you guys. Like, I've ridden Storm before, and I think I could canter him. I think I could. Like, 
I don't know. I don't Why know what's gonna happen. Even jumped over three poles. Yeah. Two poles. Yeah, Storm. I don't know if Storm likes me. We're gonna see though. He loves Gabby. Yeah, he likes I know. The Gabby. He likes a strong leader. That's for sure. Um, I, I just want to point out. Like leader that says go. I want to point out for a second though that I. I don't know if you guys can see. Wait. I. Oh wait. My riding breeches still fit. I definitely think I gained a couple pounds over Christmas, but I think they've mostly come off again since then. So uh, that was a big plus. Snack buckets are working out, you guys. Gabby is a little bit more picky, so she's got some blueberries here that she probably didn't eat since yesterday. She's got a granola bar. Oh, she ate half of them. She doesn't eat as many snacks as Sophie. Snowfy, Sophie, Snowfy, Snowfy um, has upgraded herself to two junky treats. This is junk. And a big, huge, massive carrot. So I'll feed all of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be down okay. for some carrots at the barn. You don't want to feed me and Finn because we'll be eating it all. Oh gosh. Absolutely. I'm bringing water and cheese. I'm gonna cut some cheese. For me, it's gonna be cheese and an apple and water. Hi horses. Oh, things are gonna change, Miss Skye. I'm worried about you, but you're still be looking too clean. Why did you only poop once? The heck? Oh, there's more back there. I always be looking at the poop. Anyways, the thing I'm the most worried about, I should be talking about the things I'm most excited about, but the thing I'm most worried about, right, Gracie? She's like, what are you worried about, Laura? Just tell me, let's just chat it out. So, basically, I'm worried this guy's gonna jump the fence so the problem is, is that if she's scared she will jump a fence if she's scared she will jump she's jumped a five foot wooden fence so four foot no five foot fiona said it has to be six feet or she could jump it so then i think like laura relax because chino is not that kind of a leader he's a really kind leader he doesn't make horses jump the fence but then i think about this time when Chino first moved there, nobody knows what happened. But there was a day that both the mares jumped the fence. Only Chino was left in the, in the field. So I don't know what happened. But two mares jumped the fence with Chino. And so that makes me That's kind of nervous. probably because they both ganged up on Chino and Chino doesn't like it when they gang up on him. So he pins his ears. Yeah. And Gidget pins, pins her ears because she kicked him once. There's a mouse. Oh my gosh, I see it. <gasps> Ruby Lord sees it too. Oh. Ruby's on the hunt. Oh, oh, it's get out of our barn. Gabby's yeah, standing on high ground. Yeah, if it comes Probably for me, went through there. yeah, if it comes for me, all bets are off. They'll be screaming. You push me into the water. I'll push you into the water. All right, it's gone. So we have actually seen Chino be the best kind of leader. Like I've seen Brandon's mare go at him, like shaking her head and rushing at him. And he just stands there like, do what you want. It's not gonna bother me. Like he is so good. But there was one day that the mares both jumped the fence and I don't know why. But anyway, I have to try and think of the positive. Think of the positive, Laura. About time. She rudely walked away. I had to walk through away. all the puddles. You had to what? Oh dear. Why'd you walk through all the puddles? Because there's ice on top. Oh, so, yeah, she needs to break the ice. Sky! Okay, don't let the ponies out. Let's go with Gabby and see if Sky, in fact, does, does throw a fit. All right, that was kind of shocking. <laughs> Darn it! Just when you think you got your kids and you can prove a point, you can't prove a point because she's better at it than the rest of us. So today we are packing up all of our stuff. We can't bring it all in one fell swoop because there's so much of it there. Uh, today we're bringing home everything that we can except the pony. Sam is still putting the last finishing touches on the fence. He says he, says he needs more um, electric rope. Some people have been suggesting the tape, but I've read and uh, people who've used it that I know and trust have told me it's terrible, so we didn't get that. Look how pretty that pony is. Look how pretty that pony is. Woo! She's got a lead change. Oh, she's got a lead change. <laughs> Grace is like, I don't know. Grace is like, I will get her hay. Will's like, you will not. All right, we are headed off to the barn. Today is going to be insane, you guys. Guys, it's true. Gracie has a crush on Storm. 
I want you guys to know that when we bring our horses home, we will be playing with them. We will be doing a lot of things with them and we will be riding them. We will also do our best to stay so extremely safe so that nobody gets hurt, so that we don't put any undue stress on our healthcare system. But we absolutely are going to be riding our horses. I know some of you guys don't agree with that and that's okay. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it day by day. And if we feel that it does get too dangerous for us to ride, then we won't ride. We also are going to take it really slow, us riding. So um, we're also gonna be taking our time. We're not gonna bring them home and then ride the next day. Like, I think we're gonna give them a little while, take them for walks, get them acclimatized. We're gonna be safe, you guys. In we're gonna do our best to be safe. Okay, guys, do you like Finn, Storm, or Chino the best? Comment down below. Finn, Storm, or Chino. We haven't done a contest like this in a long time. I know. I and it's it. okay if you prefer one of our horses over the other. Yeah, you can just comment down below. Even if you walk like those ones first. Yeah, just, just comment one so we get an idea of who the favorite horse is. Yeah. Who the horse with the biggest following is. This is exciting and fun for us. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little insight into the crazy mind of Laura. The crazy, obsessive, crazy mind of Laura. So you guys know I showed you recently how I drink my water. I love sucking things. Like I love a straw. I hate coffee cups. I like I only like to drink like this. It's so satisfying to me. I don't know what is wrong. It probably it goes back to the time when I was in the crib and drink from a bottle. So today I was thinking like how am I gonna do this? I can't drive and change lids. I can't carry this with a, a leaky lid. So I got a lid I stir everything in my bra, you guys. Oh, where is it? Yeah, I do. I got a lid from one of my old bottles. So I was able to carry my water out, store it in the car, carry it in my purse, and not spill it. And now I'm gonna be able to drink my water all the way to the barn with my sippy lid. Good job, Laura. Laura. Good job, Laura. Can Thank I you. And I got a water bottle that you just take the lid off. <laughs> can I see? Yeah, she's not crazy like me yet. Look, look, can I see the... Mine's better, mine's from Starbucks. Mine was $6. Yeah, Gabby's look. six dollars. I hate that kind of thing. I cannot even drink from it. I have to have like a, a sucky, sucky straw thing. I... Let's go to the barn. I remember when Second I last time. Me. Look at the horses are so not used to anybody being here that they're all just staring at us. He's like, oh, my they're arm. like, what's happening? Are you coming to ride us? Oh. And then we're there. Everybody's got their head stuck in a bale, the chino. <laughs> He'd be like, are you coming for me? Kinda cold, hello. I thin be looking a little rough. And Storm, it's you and me today. It's you and me. Oh, I don't like <laughs> you already told him to buck me off. This is what Storm does for lead changes, yes. Yeah, there will be no lead changes in my ride, Storm. There's Brandon, we're saying six feet apart. Okay, so Gabby's gonna show us how easy it is to clean Storm's flip flops. First you pick out this, and then you do that and it gets mud off, like out. Because these like are, are they These can move. reach right down there. That's incredible. To here. So our farrier told us just to clean them the best we could. I find it really hard to get this part clean. Like no matter what I do, it's just dug in there. And I've been trying and trying, but I think it needs to be soaked. And we can't obviously soak in cold weather. I don't want to scratch the saddle. He might 
Do a lead change? No, there will be no lead changes. Why do you no. have something here? Because it's a cut. I know. We don't, don't like it. Do. Could you pick it off? I don't know. Could you pick it off? No. Mom, yeah, I have a little cut. You a oh, Storm. He's pooping because he's like, oh no, it's her. It's her that's running me. I haven't been in the saddle for months because I waited for winter. And to be honest, I never knew if I would ride again because I had nobody to ride for. I've got no horse. Now that Stella's gone, I feel, I felt kind of like I'm betraying her. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But now that things are changing in the world, it's making me realize that what I really want to do is just be with my kids. But that's the thing, like, so many kids send me messages saying, you know, my parents are not horsey people and it really makes it difficult for me to enjoy what I love so much and I get it because my hated hockey when my boys were in hockey. Blech. I get it. I totally do. Soccer, not my thing. I did them, but it's not the same. God, they want me to clean up the poop. Have you ever been so nervous that you have to pee? Hopefully I break a sweat because this is all I got on. Just a hoodie. It's a big, huge, not very warm hoodie. Okay, so I'm gonna see if Brandon will film my lesson. There he is. Taking for a walk around for me. <laughs> okay, tighten the girth. Breath, Laura. So here's the thing that some of you guys might not know. You can just decide. Like, I'm nervous as heck. I'm scared as heck. It's been a long time. I'm just gonna do it. Like, I have to tell myself, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get on there. I'm gonna trust God. I'm gonna trust myself. I'm gonna trust my trainer and my horse. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. This is how we all have to stand six feet apart. <laughs> okay, hold up. I have. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Go fast or I'll be pulled to hell. I need a bigger stool. Get there on that chair? No. Grab the mane. Hold on, Gabby. Hold on to him. He's not going anywhere. Hold on to this. Look at the side of the side. I have this. Just... Yeah. Okay. I canceled my lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes later. Hold on. 